water isn't just everything, it's the only thing. And I think it's time for people's voices to be heard. I run because I want to show the sense of urgency that we have in front of us. I run because I want to go to the front lines of this crisis. I want to go there with my feet because I want others to join. I want others to have the capacity to come with me and show me their stories. If I did it any other way, I would bypass so many of the pearls of wisdom that I've heard from ordinary people in ordinary places. Over the last couple of years, I've run through places that have run out of water. I've met farmers that are struggling to get access to water. I've met communities where they have used so much groundwater from underneath the surface that entire sinkholes have opened up. For too long, people in the halls of power have ignored or been too distant from the places where the problems are. People want to collapse the gap between those living in cities and those living in rural places. People want to collapse the gap of knowledge and awareness because what they understand that when you collapse that gap, we solve the problem. It's tempting to think that water is one of those things that's a problem far away. It's a problem for a developing economy. It's an Africa problem, it's an India problem. We brand problems as being for someone else. But the global nature of our supply chains means that water is everybody's business. Because without water, we have no food and no fiber and no power. Without water, we literally, as min so many people have told me around the world, we have no life. And I feel an immense weight of responsibility, to be honest, from all the stories and all the people that I've met. I just, I feel such a duty I feel such a duty to all of them to share their stories because what they're going through makes what I am doing so insignificant. Women and girls risking their lives, farmers losing their livelihoods, fishermen who've watched their rivers and lakes dry up before their eyes and who sit there in front of me begging me, please tell these people this is a real crisis and we need them to act. When we think about it as small steps, it becomes so much more doable. When we think about these big challenges as big challenges, we get completely overwhelmed, we walk away and they never happen. So the important message from this is that you don't have to be an athlete. I'm not an athlete, I didn't grow up running. I don't like running, I'm really bad at running. I'm incredibly slow and I get distracted by everything. But that doesn't matter as long as I'm taking steps in the right direction. There are solutions just not paying attention to the problem. Yeah.